last year, Japan's foreign direct investment in Thailand exceeded that of any other country at 28.6%, amounting to 23.3 billion baht, while the US and Singapore ranked second and third, respectively. The Japanese ambassador to Thailand, His Excellency Nachida Kasuya, talks to Thai PBS World. He discusses how car manufacturers continue to regard the countries as an attractive investment destination, while recommending that the Thai government deregulate to increase competitiveness. He also notes how young startup Japanese entrepreneurs would like to explore more opportunities in Thailand. From now on, um, we still, Thailand is a very attractive country for us. Uh, for example, uh, young businessmen, such as startup, you know, they are coming. Uh, not only Toyota, not only you know, Mitsubishi, but uh, very small, but very, you know, the potential young companies are, you know, coming to invest in Thailand. The key word from now on is uh, uh, co-creation. We are, we should be equal partner uh, between Thailand and Japan. Sounds quite uplifting, not only big corporation from Japan, which is interested in Thailand, but also including startup and young business That's people. Right. Yeah. Can you tell me what are the area that young business people young in, business in Japan are interested well, in Thailand? Big company, traditional big company, are enjoying the manufacturing here. However, you know, young you know, startups are, you know, focusing on the more, you know, the advanced, uh, well, latest, you know, the business area, such as, you know, the digital, or such as uh, agriculture, agriculture with IT tech, you know, um, IoT technology, for example. With the manufacturing, especially car manufacturing, as, as we know that Japanese companies invested a lot in Thailand, yeah. but for the future trend, of EV, mm -hmm. what's the trend and what will be happening in terms of Japanese investment? Japanese, well, that depends on the, you know, the company. Well, some companies are very aggressive on EV. However, some companies are more conservative and they still stick to, for example, here in Thailand, you know, pick up or, you know, the buses, you know, the you know, those, you know, the makers are, maybe, uh, stay on the, the way of their own making. However, in the long term, or mid, mid term, you know, they need to shift uh, the, the current trend to shift to EV. So, surely, uh, we would like to, you know, the continue our leading position in Thai market. I believe the, most of the makers, Japanese makers, will uh, accommodate with uh, the Thai government's policy towards the EV. As far as you can see, what should Thailand do more in to step up our game in order to attract or to maintain investment in the car industry? We have been you know, submitting many requests to Thai government. For example, more deregulation, the or investment uh, you know, initiative, incentives, mm, tax reductions. Uh, uh, sometimes, say compared to other neighboring countries, Thailand has a little bit more you know, regulated, uh, restricted, and uh, also there are you know, some restrictive rules here in Thailand. And furthermore, we are, you know, the encouraging Thai government to conclude more free trade agreement, such as CPTPP, or why don't you facilitate the FTA negotiations with EU? Well, the, look at Vietnam, they, they are more liberated countries. So in order to, you know, compete with the neighboring countries, Thailand is, you know, liberate, you know, their own market more. Natako Monwadin reporting for Thai PBS World.